This is my new piece and I'm pretty excited to introduce her. As you can see, she's very thoughtful, very pensive, contemplation. And it took me years to do a piece and people say, well, how long did it take? And I say, well, it's taken my whole career. And that's because this piece is a combination of Serena, survival of Serena, midpoint, and contemplation. And it has all three statements. And it's a very complicated piece, you know, with the arms and the hands. I love the beautiful back. And one thing about sculpture is it has to look good from every side. You'll be seeing it as it progresses. So this step of the process is the painting phase and I I have painted like a flesh color on the piece and after I cover the whole thing in flesh in this flesh color I'm going to start to detail it and paint the lips and the eyes and the shadows and I'll put veins and beauty marks in and uh, it's the fun part. called an airbrush and I have various brushes in different sizes and I use this to paint the sculptures and make them come to life. Um, there's no one color for flesh. I use a combination of colors like this and this and, and this and these are lacquers and I mix them in little containers and then I put them in my airbrush and spray them and uh, they're pretty archival. Serenity has her nails done, her toes done, her lips, she's getting there, and now it's time to do the full leaf of the cat. Just to make sure I have it all, I'm gonna pour it. And then I put them in patterns as they would trickle down. These water drops are my signature. I'm the only artist in the world that does this. I'm fascinated with this. I have to be careful that it doesn't have too much of a drip. Process, and I'm very proud of it. This is Serenity. It took me over a year to make and finally it's going to be completed. Enjoy. <laughs>